Okay. So I made this, and it revolves around, uh, I would say an advanced concept in NXTG, and it's called wiring. And what this program is going to do, just to show you what's up, what the ultrasonic sensor is going to detect, it's going to put it on the screen. So, let's say my ultrasonic sensor is detecting 20 inches, it's going to say the number 20 on the screen where I want it. But before we go into wiring, we're going to have to discuss something called Data Hub. So I'm just going to open a new window here, and I'm going to drag that same ultrasonic up here. And you see that under the block, we have this little stub right here. And then if you hover under the block right here, you see the double arrow pointing in opposite directions. Click on that, and what? Wait, 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 what is what is this? I thought I thought we were just discussing just dragging and blocking and what 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 is this? I mean okay, okay. Let's 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 calm down here, okay? These are called data hubs. And what data hubs are is is pretty much an input output of data for your blocks. Now, these sensor blocks, everything in here it has they do no action whatsoever. These don't directly placing them right here won't affect your movement, it won't affect your sensors in any way, shape, or form. It's just to detect. And what wires do is they transfer that data that the sensors detect. So let me go to this and I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna rebuild that program and I'm gonna walk you through it. Because I believe the best way to learn this is by example. So let's redirect that ultrasonic sensor right in here. And we're going to realize that we're going to have something called a distance. And once we click on that and we drag it out, we get this yellow wire right here. And what that yellow wire, what it's holding, what it's holding is the data that the ultrasonic sensor is detecting. So if the ultrasonic sensor is detecting 30 inches, this yellow wire right here is going to carry the information of 30. And so, what we can do, we can get this display block, we can hit this, and, oh, after this point, you're never going to see the common ballot blocks the same way ever again. Just, it, it's just something for me. And we're going to set this, we're going to set this to text, and we're just going to position this right here. And let's go through all these data hubs. So radius, probably for circles, endpoints, probably for drawings, file name, what in the world? Oh, here's text. So if I wanted to write something, I can just get this yellow wire and I can just plug it into this text, right? And it's going to show it, but wait, I'm getting this gray wire. What the heck is this? Well, what the gray wire is, is because the datas are not compatible. When I drag out of this text block, you realize that the yellow, the wire is reddish orange, and this is because that the text block is a text value, and this is a number value. So wires, depending on their color, have different types of values that they're holding. So what the distance value is going to hold? It's going to hold a number, hence it is yellow. However. This text value is going to have a text value, therefore, it is orange. There is not those two, but there's also a logic one, which is green. And what the green wire holds is just yes and no, and that is it. It only holds those two values only. Right now, we're going to be dealing with this yellow wire and this orange wire. So if I try, it's not going to be compatible. How you can delete wires is you can click on the wire, you can delete that. Or, you can do something called wire clipping. You can just go right up to this little stub right here, click on that, and bam, you get rid of that wire. So, okay, so, how are we going to convert that value? Well, something called number to text. You're going to stick that in right here. You're going to plug the distance into this one. But beforehand, I want to show you this. You realize that if I wanted to, I can just put any, right, any random number right here. So, I'm just typing in wildly. However, if I plug distance and I put it into the number value, you realize that it's going to be shaded out. The reason is, there is no point of putting value in here 
if there's already value being fed in here. So the value of 30, which my ultrasonic sensor is detecting, it's going to go into this block right here. And what this block does, it's going to change the value into text, and it's going to insert it right here. And if you want to collapse this, just in case that's a lot of room, you can just click it again, and it goes bam, it goes right over there. And if you stick it right in here, what's going to happen is that it's going to override this. So I wrote NXT, oh, Firestorm's NXT right here, it's going to override that once it hits it. So, let me clip these wires. And I'm going to think of another quick example to show you once it comes to transferring data. Hmm. Okay, I got one. Okay, I got one. Why don't we make the robot go faster backwards when it's detecting something? Shall we? Okay, so let's say we have the ultrasonic sensor right here. I have a little distance. We're gonna open up this move block, and we're gonna have these options again. And now, let's say I want to manipulate how fast these motors are gonna turn, depending on how close it is. Or, ah, uh, actually, no, forget that. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. That's gonna be more complicated than it's worth. Okay, let me think of a simpler example. Uh, how about okay? How about this? The farther away an object is, the louder the sound is going to get. Let me just pull that, pull that. Okay, and we're gonna loop it. The reason I'm looping is just in case you guys don't know, is to check the condition over and over again. So just to make sure that it does not detect it once and it just ends. It can just happen over and over again. So and let's play a note because the word "good job" is just very annoying to me. And let's open this up. We realize that we have an option called volume. So we're going to stick the distance into the volume. And do you realize that this wire is also yellow? This wire is yellow. Therefore, it is compatible and is able to be plugged in. We're going to collapse this right in here. You realize that this is labeled volume. So any anything that is wired into here is automatically going to be manipulating this volume right here. So whatever the distance is, the volume is going to be. So if it's detecting 50 inches, it's going to be playing the sound at a level of 50. If it's detecting 100 inches away, it's going to do 100 levels of sound. And this is automatically overwritten. So no matter what number I write here, this guy's the boss. This guy's providing the information. Therefore, this is going to play the sound of 100. And wires are, that's why, the wires are there in order to provide information to provide extra data for blocks to communicate with each other. So this is how people get to manipulate things. This is how some programs are very, very flexible. Those most more advanced programs. This is the reason why. It's because of wiring. Because of wiring. And I'm going to try to figure out a logic one right here. I'm trying to figure out a logic one. Actually, no. I don't think I have the time for that. But remember... In fact, I'm going to be covering that later. For right now, just keep in mind that wiring is the ability to transfer data between blocks. And there's three types. There's the number one. There's the text, which is going to be reddish-orange, right here. And lastly, we're going to have the logic one, which only carries the values yes and no which is going to be carried through the green wire. So that's all I have for wiring today. And if you guys don't get the concept, it's totally okay. This is not an easy concept to grasp at first if you know nothing about programming. Just bear with me. If you're confused about anything, just watch this video again or play with it on your robot for a second. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Okay, guys? Thanks.